What are y'all doing back here in Collinsville, Virginia again? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in your respective YouTube accounts. Okay. So I figured I'd read something here to you out of um, Leviticus chapter 10. I'm still here in Collinsville, Virginia. And uh, we're probably Wednesday or Thursday, I believe it is. I'm not quite sure. Um, <clears throat> not very positive exactly where I'm going to leave. Some ways I can't wait to get home. Other ways I kind of I'd like to stay you know, a little bit longer. But I've got to get home so I can go to work. Um. Anyway. Anyway, what was I thinking? I thought my cousin was calling me. Anyway, um, I want to read Leviticus chapter ten to you, and um, about offering strange fire by Nad Nadab and Abihu. Um, how they offered strange fire in the incense burners, and it's like um, uh, people do who who were of the world and they um, pray to God and everything and they um, you know God doesn't hear it you know and you know and it's not like you know some people and there, there, there are some people who, who go through things when they're not a child of God and other people don't you know like um, some people who might have to suffer from you know there, there's so many I'm trying to think of one account at least and there's so many how people, you know, would um, use the Lord's name in vain or do something toward another person and out of meanfulness, out of spite. And next thing you know, that person would um, perish or be hurt or something would happen to them where, um, you know, it would make them think, well, dang, I shouldn't have said that or, or you know. There, there have been many occasions where people have said and done things where they should, you know, and you know, it's like, uh-oh. Weeks later, years later, something might have happened to them. You know, you hear about spontaneous combustions, um, car wrecks. You know, one time, you know, somebody might be doing or saying something against the Lord. Next thing you know, cause and effect. You know, they curse the Lord. And some people he doesn't do that with. Some people can curse the Lord to the day they die, and the Lord still doesn't do anything to them. Other people, you know, and um, it just depends. But anyway, let me go ahead and read this. Um, it says, um, and Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein, and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, in which, uh, which he commanded them not. He said, don't offer strange fire. And they, and there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them. And they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it this is it that the Lord spake, saying saying, I will sanctify I will be sanctified in them that come nigh to me. Come nigh me. And before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And saying, You will sanctify me and I will be glorified. You know what I mean? It's like okay, so Verse 4 it says, And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, you can get the blinks, um, the sons of Uziel, the uncle of Aaron, evidently Moses is his uncle too, and said unto them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary of the, out of the camp. So they went near and carried them and their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron, and to Elsa, Eliezer, and to Ithamar and his sons, I'll cover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning which the Lord hath kindled. And ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. For the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you and they did according to the word of Moses and the Lord spake unto Aaron saying do not drink wine nor strong drink drink thou nor thy sons with thee when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation lest ye die it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations 
and that ye may put a difference between holy and unholy, and between clean, unclean and clean, that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord hath spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And Moses spake unto Aaron and to Eleazar and Ithamar, his sons that were left, Take the meat offering that remaineth of the offering of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leavened bread beside the altar, for it is most holy. And ye shall eat it in the holy place, because it is thy due, and thy sons due, of sacrifices of the Lord made by fire, so for so I am for so I am commanded. Then it talks about the wave breast. But anyway, the ministers are had a certain due. You know, they couldn't the Levites couldn't inherit land or anything like that, but they could they had a due that was owed to them by the people and by giving sacrifices of praise. Um, you know, and that's the same with like ministers today, you know, they have the word of God and some people don't some of them don't even get paid. But their due is um, basically the word himself, Jesus Christ. You know, that is their due. And to um, eat the word, so to speak, to ingest it, to put it into your body, to your daily bread. You know, having the Holy Spirit within you. You know, in you and for you and with you. You know, and um, so whenever we're out here in the world giving Jesus Christ to the world, we're partaking of him. We, you know, that's where it becomes... The blood and the bread, you know, the, the blood and the body, which is, you know, the, excuse me, the bread and the wine, like the Last Supper. We're taking in the body of Christ. We're taking his body for what he did for us on the cross. We're also taking in the Word of God, which he is the Word of God, the living Word of God. And when we read the Word of God, it talks about that in Ezekiel as well, whenever, you know, um, it says, take you the book and eat it, you know. Is that Ezekiel or is that Isaiah? I think it's Ezekiel. And they said it tasted bitter, sweet. it tasted like honey in my mouth, but it upset the stomach. You know, and uh, eat the words, you know, and uh, speak the words. When you eat the words, you speak the words. You speak the words because you ate the words. The Holy Spirit's in you, within you, and working with um, for you in your life, and you know, working to bring God the glory for all things. But um, as far as the uh, strange fire and everything. That is that which, you know, there's a lot of people today that go out here and they minister and they try to preach and everything. And it's not the Word of God. You know, and like I said, they, some bad things likely happened to people who were going out and they were cursing God. And there were likely some things that happened to people who thought they might have been saved, but they it was a works-based oriented. And they didn't praise God for it and didn't give Him the glory. Next thing you know... You know they perished or they are perishing you know and but um anyway what we had to do to not to avoid that to avoid the uh the perishing to avoid to being struck out down by the lord um is to have the holy spirit within us you know to be children of god and um by having faith in what jesus christ did for us on the cross that's the one way to avoid that so that's in Leviticus chapter 10 and um, that's through uh, chapter th verse 13 Leviticus 1 through 13 and like I said it also talks about um, the uh, wave breast, the wave offering things like that, the heave offering, the wave offering but anyway, that's all I'll share that with you sitting up here, it has well, been cloudy for like 3 or 4 days now it raining and everything the sun's finally peeking out again. Um, I don't think I did a video, was it Sunday? Yesterday? But anyway. Anyway, I just want to make this video. Kind of kind of you know, give some word to you, whatever. I don't know. But um, anyway, that's a pretty interesting chapter. I've always enjoyed um, Leviticus, you know. Um, sometimes it can kind of be rather um, long and sometimes unintentionally I don't mean to be but I do kind of get bored and I have to ask the Lord to refresh my memory and help me understand because I won't get bored of it because the human nature starts kicking in you know what I mean and like oh, I'm bored I don't want to read it I might skip a few chapters or verses but if I do that then I wouldn't be considered as reading the whole Bible and I would have no um there's also another good chapter here, chapter 11.
talks about what animals, you know, the children of Israel could eat and everything like that. And, uh, rabbits, hares, hares, ospreys, and all, all, you know, all kind of stuff like that. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna do for today, I guess. Well, maybe I might do more. I don't know. It just depends on how it strikes my fancy. Well, y'all have a great day, and God bless you, and take care. And I hope that's done something for you, if it's done for me, you know, and. Uh, not offering the Lord God strange things, strange prayer that's not of Him and everything, because you know He can either strike you down or let bad things happen to you because you don't give Him the proper worship, you know. And um, that every minister is do his um, do his pay, you know. And uh, not that we would ask for money, but for the word of God. That's my son. We are down there. Hey, son. Hang on. That's a good man. You're really working hard. He's really working hard. No, he's doing good. My cousin Hank's been giving some good compliments on him. I said, oh, yeah. That's just the way it is. He's... Anyway, let me get off here. Y'all take care. God bless. See you later.